they always just don't fail to get something just to talk about because they find peace in doing so they earn clicks they they kind of pay their bills in doing so and that's why they 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 don't feel even a single shame of them trashing over harry and megan day in day out and today i came across an article that i thought it would be better if i shared it with you here and you have a chance an opportunity to just leave your comments and thoughts of what you think about the same the article has a title that states the sussexes are deliberately trying to maintain a disconnect from the windsor that's one thing personally i bet would so high advocate for because why build a connection with your abusers why build a connection with the people who are out here trashing on you licking false information about you people who support people who are making your lives miserable why build a connection with them personally i support them just kind of having uh, maintaining the disconnection that they have because they don't benefit even a single bit from uh, the windsor at the moment they are no longer working royals so they don't even benefit in any particular way because it's just them out there trashing on how harry and megan left and now we are currently having a workload in one way or another those are some of the things that have been trending for the past few days this tells you how irrelevant how incompetent they are and doesn't know what is expected of them and just spend much of their time uh, shifting their whole focus in people who are out here minding uh, their humble business the article goes ahead and states i believe that prince harry would like to have some kind of home or a rental situation in the uk that does not mean that he's currently house hunting in the UK, nor does it mean that he is begging anyone for anything, especially his father. It's merely a matter of conveniences, especially given that Harry is due in the UK next January for a court appearance and that he's likely to make several court appearances for multiple press lawsuit over the next year. Harry had a perfectly good home in the UK, one which he and Harry had renovated, leased, and paid back. To the tune of over £2 million, King Charles evicted the star success from that home, which is the root cause of all this current real estate drama in the British media. Well, now the story is that Harry and Meghan are evil for wanting to not lease a royal property these people i swear they're just something else like you're expecting that they're bringing about this whole story of harry not now wanting to lease a property with the royals like for what reasons you evicted them from their own home that they paid a renovation for that they were gifted by the late queen elizabeth as a wedding gift they did evict them so why bring themselves close to haters and derangers, to hypocrites? That's a mistake that Harry and Meghan can never do. If they want to get a property back in the UK, they can do it. They can afford it, but they don't require or don't need anyone's permission. They don't need anyone's affirmation for them to do what they want to do. It's up to them to just sit, wait, relax and just Wait to see what Harry has in store. Because trust me, you, it will continue just pounding and pounding on them. They did what they did and never gave a second thought of what they were doing. They better get ready to just fess. They just better get ready. Because they did their actions. They just need to sit down and face their consequences. Charles has done nothing of the kind. He has no moral high ground and he looks like a deadbeat father who evicted his son daughter-in-law and grandchildren from a secure uk home charles evicted them out over nothing but short-sighted spite not some kind of high-minded moral imperative and now that's been used as an excuse to blast the sussexes for wanting to maintain a disconnect those people are gaslighting abusers something curious though in uh, this 
in his last two visits in the UK, Harry didn't stay at Frogmore Cottage or any royal property. It's bonker to me that the British media still can't figure out where he was staying. They are. There were some reports that he stayed at a hotel in September, but surely we would have gotten confirmation of that at the time. The lack of reporting on that speaks how thoroughly Harry can move around without royals monitoring him. Because at this particular moment, he has no business with them. Whenever he's making a visit there, he doesn't need to kind of send a letter or just inform anyone there that, you know what, I've been making a visit there. So am I allowed to or no? He doesn't need that. Harry doesn't need that. And they have just to adjust with the fact that the same way they just left him go is the same way they just need to get used to looking at him from a distance. That's what I can say. Because trust me, you what they did, what they did is something that no one needs to go through such a trauma, if I'm to call it, because it was really traumatic. But they found joy and peace in doing it. They never gave a second thought of how they felt, how how they, they, they kind of carried it within them. They shouldn't have a problem of Harry and Meghan kind of maintaining the disconnection with the abusers, with the fake farmer, if I'm to say, because that's just a corrupt institution. They shouldn't have even a single bit problem with that. Because basically what Harry and Meghan are doing is just minding their business. It's called grey rocking or no contact. It's the only way to deal with narcissists. As why the hell will they ask Charles for another home when they were gifted one and he threw a tantrum and took it away? All right, Charles wants to have something to control them with. Hence, this contact. You can't have a healthy relationship with someone who wants to control and use you. That was somebody's comment. There is no way you can have a good rapport, a healthy relationship with somebody who just wants to mistreat you, misuse you, and just have control over what you do, your in and outs, and everything of the sort. Harry and Meghan can never look back, can never make a mistake of just wanting to go and live there permanently. That's one thing Harry and Meghan can never just make a mistake for. And they can't even allow their kids kind of experience what they had to go through. Yeah, the Sussexes are disconnected because the royal cult wants them out. So they have moved on and are not coming back. This is like the longest breakup known to man on the clans and tabloids part. And all I can hear is my head in this song by Rainbow Sins. You have been gone. Get over it. And they're not coming back. They made it clear to them they never wanted them. They made it clear to them that they never appreciated their effort. They just need to adjust to that. They just need to let them be and learn a lesson from it. That's why I've said it's a high time Harry and Meghan just kind of leave and just not even bring about a thing to do with them. But for Charles, he needs to just sit down redeem himself, kind of bring his house in order before things just even get worse. Somebody commented over the same and said, well, if in fact the British royal family are feeling some kind type of the way after the horrific mistreatment of Meghan and Harry, I suggest they get over it. They should prepare themselves for Archie and Lilibet's rejection. When they discover how their parents were abused relentlessly by the farm, by their relatives, by their family members. Because trust me, you, I don't know how Archie and Lilibet will take this, but it won't, like, it won't just bring a big picture. And I doubt if even the kids would want anything to do with them. What, that is when they come to realize. They're speaking about a disconnection now. They're speaking about a rejection now. They better get ready for even Archie and Lilibet's rejection. I don't know what are some of your thoughts over this. Kindly just leave your comments down below. 
And that was our today's podcast. And thank you so much for tuning in. And see you guys in our next podcast. Bye.